what is that? That's uh, a cash box. No way. Get yeah, that's why one. we do it. Listen, listen. There's something in here. Two. We just bought this little storage unit for $120 and I am insanely excited to go into it. Let me explain to you the backstory on why that is. In December of 2021, we bought a storage unit for about $1,000 right here at this very same facility. Inside that storage unit, there was a safe, but the safe was in its original box, but it wasn't new. Really weird. Never happened to us before, never happened to us after. We busted the safe open, found some paperwork, but under the paper, literally money, hordes of money, bags of money, almost $3,000 dollars cash the most money we've ever found in a storage unit ever but it was just weird that it was sitting in the box like that so because of that i added that facility to my watch list so i can keep an eye up on it in case anything else popped up that looked suspicious well four months into the future april of 2022 a little five by five storage unit pops up the one right here it has a safe box sitting right in the front right so i start to bid on it obviously i'm the high bidder and then it cancels and then every single month from april 2022 to December of 2023, it pops up for auction, it cancels. It pops up for auction, it cancels. And I'm the high bidder every single time, but I just can't seem to get my hands on it. When you rent a storage unit and you don't pay your bill for three months, you have three options. One, you just lose your stuff. Two, you pay the entire balance owed to the facility and then you can regain access to your unit. Or three, you pay one month balance and you don't get access to your unit, but they don't sell it that month and they sell it again next month. So obviously, our person here was picking option three and trying to save that unit every single month. The cheapest unit there is a five by five unit like the one we bought. That costs you $110 a month plus insurance, so around $130. Think about the fact that they paid for that unit for 21 months. $130 plus whatever the late fee is times 21. Thousands of dollars trying to save what's in this freaking unit. That only leads me to believe one thing, there has to be money in that safe. Is it the same person? Is there money in it? Or is it a box full of cat turds? I don't know. We're about to go find out. Let's do it. We went to pick up the unit and there was just a lot of weird people in this hallway. People watching us and there was people with their phone. I don't know if they're taking pictures or filming or what. So we loaded it up in our van. We took it home and then we're going to go through it while it's safe. You guys know I don't usually bring stuff home, but there was way too many people there. Two people were using their phone to like take pictures or film what we were doing and it kind of creeped me out. So we're loading it. We're taking it home and we're going to see if it's the same person. Fingers crossed. Now we're home and safe and away from anyone who might try to kill us for a safe full of money, you know? So let's open this van and now we're gonna go through this unit right here on this table and I even brought a trash can because I saw plenty of food and we can get rid of it right here on the spot. Yes, so, one of the bags is nasty. Okay, well we don't want food, we know that, but we also gotta make sure the food boxes and bags don't have something hidden inside of them. Like this is expired popcorn. Okay. We don't want that. Ooh, peanut butter, yay. Wow. No, ramen. Wow. My favorite. Oh, Ritz. It's looking like this is going to be a move it around. Check these cans too because you know those stash <laughs> cans? I, this is just too weirdly coincidental for me to not check every little thing. I don't hear nothing. Sounds but, nasty when you shake it. Yeah. Okay, now that's all food. So to the garbage can you go. This one looks like freaking food too. You know, I'm going to be honest. If this is all junk and I just lost $130, I'll still be happier if I didn't buy it and never knew. This is Chex Mix. Cinnamon. Gross. Crackers. Gross. Uh, oh, look. Little. Uh-huh. See? Ooh, what is that? Ew, what is that? Is a good question. What the heck is that thing? Uh, it says menthol on it. Get back in there. So something for smoking. Try. Gross. Uh, grits and stuff. Why do people store expired food? Especially in a unit like this, like they've been trying to save this for two years, just about. Like literally, think about hundred plus dollars every month. That's thousands of dollars to save what's in here. There's gotta be some reason and logic behind this, I would think. Let's go to this big thing. Ugh. First thing. Is, is that more food? This is, oh, what is that? It isn't. Uh, premium washcloth. Yeah. Okay, they're wet still. I'll take those. Nothing else in there. What about on this side? Uh, that's closed. I want to undo it though. Is it a onesie? Oh, they're underwear. <laughs> lovely, lovely, <laughs> lovely. What else is in here? Now I'm scared. Socks. Underwear, socks. Clothes. Oh, the smell to another. They're not, they're not good. They're stinky. There's they're two more up here. Usually I donate clothes, but used underwear. Nah, not so much. 
More clothes. This better not be all clothes. Um, come on, come on. Open up. Open up. What is that? Is this a whole thing of clothes? These are all used masks. Okay. Yeah, no. Let's go into the main compartment here. Come on, you. Open up. There's got to be something hidden in this unit. There's no reason somebody would pay to store and keep it safe for all this time. There wasn't something good in here. Not necessarily this bag, but this unit in general. Let's rip open this little bag first, though. Well, we got our paperwork. You know what? I'm not going to throw this away because I want to look through every last little piece of paper that I can because you never know. One of the first times we ever found money in a unit, it was in an envelope. You never would have guessed it would have been in there. Let's see. Pants. These at least don't smell horrible. Like this stuff on the outside smell awful. So these clothes will probably just be donated unless it's something, you know, high, high end. This yeah. is the brand Faded Glory. Isn't that Walmart or All Navy? I don't know. I've heard of Faded Glory. Yeah, it's not going to be high end. So we'll just donate them. What's this? Let's see what's in here. Well, a little plug thing. Ew, what's with all the masks? There's too many masks. Way too many masks. The knit. Oh, come on! <laughs> No, get out of here. Let's see what's in the main compartment. What's in there? More papers and diapers. What are these? These are bath wipes. I mean, we'll take the wipes, you know? We'll use them to clean your hands and stuff. But yeah, nothing else there. Let's dig a little deeper. This is just clothes. Is this whole bag gonna be just clothes? What is this for? Oh, it's got a button in it, okay. <laughs> That's what it's for. Anything else? No, the rest of this bag is just closed. Well, let's keep going a little bit. Let's go into this bag here. Ugh, open up. It looks like it's going to be closed, but we have to be sure. Now, there's something. Oh, it's a hanger. Well, are they new clothes? It looks like a store hanger, not one you have in your house. Let's see if it's new. Uh, do you see a tag? Uh, doesn't look not like from it. Here. No, doesn't look like they're going to be new. What about the hoodie? Anything? No, just a plain black hoodie, pre-owned. So this again, just stuff you could donate. Let's go to the black bag here. This was our bag. We kind of filled up with the loose stuff. So I'm kind of curious to see what's in here. Oh, these are the kind of things you'd find money in, really. Hangers, lots of hangers. Yeah. What about this? Your favorite. Yeah. These are just notebooks and stuff like spiral notebooks, that kind of stuff. There's a rose. Here's a purse. What's that? Well, I mean, it's a purse. I don't know what kind of <laughs> right. purse, what brand. It doesn't have a brand like, on it. I don't know. You got to tell me. It looks nice. It looks nice. What else do we got going on here? A lamp. Dude's cut lock. Don't need that. And then we have a desk lamp. Random. Well, we got us a little trash can with an apron on it. That's kind of weird. The name tag with no name. It just has a name tag <laughs> with no name. That just makes it even creepier. Let's go get one of these bags out the way. This one, this is just a blanket. You could tell. Yep. So let's get, there's that safe box. One of these little boxes here. I'm gonna need to find me a knife. I think I got one on the keys. Yes, you let's do. Let's see what's in this box here. Maybe the boxes have something different. I see, it looks like clothes. But I don't know, there might be something wrapped up in there. That's a thing you never know. You never know if it's actual clothes or just something wrapped up. Come on. Well, this is nothing wrapped up. This is just Ooh, clothes. Is that a hug? No, these are time and time true. and true. Is that that Walmart. Target, Walmart? Okay, so again, not high end stuff, but good stuff to donate to people that might need it. So I'm not mad. Another box here. Okay, that one feels like it's harder stuff. Does at it least. sound it's not like clothes. clothes? No, unless it's you know maybe they wear bricks. You never know. Never judge. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's what kind of what I fear was. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case, but it looks like it's bathroom stuff. Okay, there's got to be something somewhere in the unit. Why else would you pay? Literally thousands of dollars to try to save it. That's literally just all used bathroom stuff. This bag smells and look at the side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it in the trash because if that's duty, I'm suing. <laughs> this bag here, I can tell you, it's just another blanket. We're not interested in that. This one right here is not. So let's see what that is. Well, this here is food, but it says something else on it. It okay. has a name on it, yeah. But I wonder if it's actually the food or what? Yes, yep. it is. Ew. It expired in <laughs> March of 2022. Why? Yeah. Why keep it? Like, just, ew. Some sugar free wafers. Yeah, okay, that's just nasty. There's some pads in here. There's a flashlight. You mean like feminine food. pads? Yes. Just nothing of value right now. That's got to be because. All the value is sitting in the safe right now. Have Hopefully. What is this right here? Is that a 
a diabetic thing. I could have guessed everything I saw was sugar free, so <laughs> made sense. This is just more pads. Nothing in here either. What about the clear package here? There's got to be something in this, right? Looks like it. What is this here? I'm curious what this is. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna look at that in a second. But first, tissues, a book. Narcotics Anonymous. Lovely. Uh, not sure what that is. And more then pads. <laughs> more pads, and then just clothes and randomness. Okay. Nothing there. So what's in here? That's the question. It looks like a lunchbox. This is more expired food. Oh, uh, this is insulin, huh? Ah, diabetic This is kit. all diabetic stuff. Anything in this top one here? Uh, all the needles. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Let's go back to a box now, because this one is also harder. But we already found the bathroom stuff, so I don't think we'll find it again. This is actually barely taped. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just kept my mouth shut. I see bathroom stuff, but I also see some wallets and stuff. So usually if you find jewelry, a lot of times people keep the jewelry boxes in the bathroom. That's where you'll find it at in units. It's in the bathroom box. This sounds like jewelry. Nail polish. Lots of nail polish and more nail polish. What is that? That's oh, a file. I thought it was a card. Uh, well, this here looks like it's all more bathroomy kind of stuff. Shampoo, lotion. Hey look, it's the one we have, isn't it? Yeah. That and yeah, just random bathroom stuff. This is again a giant blanket. You can tell clothes versus blanket. That is a blanket. This one here, oh well I forgot to say it felt like it, but there's something down there. Let's see what's in here. A hoodie first off. Then this bag here. Ah this is more bathroom pads. Like just more pads. This is so weird. Just think, somebody spent over two, three thousand dollars to try to get this stuff back. Weird, but we don't know what's in the safe here. This right here, now just another blanket and more random bathroom stuff. Let's go to the biggest box of the unit. This one right here. This one's huge. I see what looks like cloth here. That doesn't mean it's all in there. Hoping it's being used to pad something. Let's see if that is the case. Come on. Uh, well, first glance, I'm gonna say it doesn't look like the case. This sweater looks like it could be expensive though. The brand on that is Aaron Crafts, Ireland. Never heard of it. Uh, let's go further. Oh look, there's other stuff in here under the clothes. Like, uh, a hair dryer. Okay, at least we got something here. This here is a heating pad. That's brand new. Now we're going back in the right direction. This one is, what the heck is that? A relaxing neck and shoulder heating pad. Okay. Also new in the box. Over here. Nice Hamilton Beach steam iron. Okay, now we're going better. Let's go to the other side. See, there's more stuff hidden under the clothes. Doesn't look like it on this side. It looks like just random clothes, random pair of boots that are heavily worn. So, nothing too sellable over here. Again, this should just be stuff that we donate. Let's go to this little box right here. There's got to be something hidden in here. Come on. What is it? Ooh, I see a purse. I see a purse, I think. Is that a purse? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is a nice looking purse. It is pretty new looking. The brand it says leather. It's just leather, so a leather purse. I guess we'll take it. Ooh, is that a tablet case? It sounds like pills, doesn't it? Don't be pit. I was gonna say, I couldn't tell. A sewing, sewing kit? kit? Okay, that's not bad. Let's definitely keep that. This is just a hat. Let's see what else is down in here. Ugh, why is this so heavy or so hard? Oh, it's a jacket, that's why. It's rolled up tight. This is a Wilson leather jacket. That looks nice. Yeah, it does. What about underneath of it? Ugh, another jacket right here. And this is just some other shirt, it looks like. It feels like paper. Like, like this feels like, yeah, there. maybe a rain jacket. I was say, this feels like just like a trash bag. So I don't know what it is. This purse was kind of just in there loose, but it's got a brand name on it that says Rebecca Minkoff. Never heard of that one before. Okay, we'll set it right here. Now, let's get this and this out of the van. Because the styrofoam I was just scared was gonna bust everywhere. What is this? Mary Kay? Is that usually um like makeup or something? Yeah, I was hoping it would be jewelry. Doesn't Mary Kay sell jewelry too? I don't know. I don't know either. Let's see. Oh, it's, it's just a mirror. mirror. It's neither. Mm -hmm. Um, what about for ew. Ew, it's just more bathroom crap. I I don't even know no more. Ow. <laughs> what is this? What is that? I don't know. I don't know either, but I'm just gonna throw it away for safety reasons. <laughs> now we're gonna go to the big bag. Listen. It's not closed, but oh gosh, it's heavy. I don't know what it is. Ugh. 
Okay, we're gonna start with the front pocket right here. What's in here? A dirty shoe, some newspaper. Let's see. Just so oh, random of stuff. Is there something in there? Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Some highlighters and two calculators. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> hair, um, more hair, some random paper, and another shoe. Okay, it's not looking too promising, but that doesn't mean nothing yet. Well, that's just paperwork. More papers. I don't want to dig my hand in there because I see drawers, and I've already found needles, so, you know, nothing's in there. Let's go to the main compartment of the suitcase. Where, Over here. Where is it at? Oh, you see it already? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's see what's in the big boy. Okay, this looks very random. Well, first off, this is like laundry detergent and wipes up there. What about this? These are usually money. What's in there? Uh, what are these, tea bags? Tea bags. Tea bags, okay. Not quite money, but you know. Next best thing, right? Oh yeah. my gosh, I hate the smell of tea. <laughs> I hate tea so You bad. didn't see the bag of hair? Yay. Hair, <laughs> clothes. Oh, uh, there's a pair of shoes down here. No, are they Skechers? Skechers. Skechers, hey, it's decent. We'll take that. What's in here? This looks like medication or something. Oh yeah, medication. No thank you. No thank you. Silverware, Um, all the rest. Lit oh, oh, what is that? That's uh, a cash box. No way. That's why we do it. Get that's that, why we do it. I was about to say, get this out of here. Set uh, that aside so we make sure we're not missing anything yeah, over there. Yeah, we're gonna dig now. We're gonna dig now. Like that. Uh -huh. Cricket phone. You know what? This might not be worth a lot because it's a cricket, but what it will do is allow us to turn it on. If it's not locked, we can learn a lot about the person fast. So let's see in here first. Dig a little further. This Lancet. is lancets, diabetes needles. I just wanted to make sure there's nothing under the yeah. cooler. Uh, what is that? That's oh, just a button. Anything under the cooler? No, this. This is another diabetes thing. Uh, no, yeah. Did you just hear that gunshot? Somebody's got a shooting range like right by us and they shoot a lot, so. Uh, yeah, other than that, the rest of it's crap, but let's clear the table off and we gotta figure out how to get into this. Then we have another safe. Then we have the safe box that might have a third safe. We're gonna figure this out. Listen, listen. There's something in here. Okay, let me show you my lock picking kit. Here it is. You ready? Yep. Come on. There we go. Oh no, I don't <laughs> like what I've seen. Well, well, here's a stack of cards. Other than the cards, I think this is all, hey look, there's a Jeep thing. <laughs> Other than the cards, I think this is literally all medicine, huh? Let's yeah. see what's in here. Hopefully These are metro cards? cards, shoppers cards. This is all laundromat. These are business cards, laundromat. Oh, there's an ID. There's another ID. Uh, business cards, library. There's a Panera gift card. Okay, okay there's our first chance here. <laughs> we got, let's see, business card, more IDs. Why do they have so many IDs? Mm -hmm. Rewards, choice rewards, Humana. Uh, Credit mm -hmm. cards. Are the IDs um all different states? Yeah, don't look at them. But yeah, there's like <laughs> there's a Virginia, there's a New York, and there's a New Jersey. I don't know what they were doing, but three different states, and we at least we got a Panera gift card. Next box. Somebody is shooting off a lot. Watch them stop right when we start the camera now. <laughs> Literally, that dude was just letting off like ten rounds in a row. And now I hear he has nothing. Have to reload. I guess he's got a. He only has ten round mag. This Virginia. There you go. There he goes. <laughs> Let's see what's in this. Uh, oh, a little glass. I well, heard money. Did you? I did. Oh, there it is. There's your two cents. Hey. I don't want your two cents. <laughs> uh, no, nothing else in here. So we're gonna set this little box aside. But I want to grab this. Uh, what do you call it? Basket here. Ugh. I guess I can put my knife away now. I don't think I gotta slice any of this open. Let's see. Open up. I see cookie tins. Cookie tins usually don't have cookies in them. Nope. It has, what the heck is that? Nicotine stuff, or like vape, no good. This, what's in this one? This I'm one's sealed. sealed. I feel like it might actually be cookies, but what if they just retaped it because they didn't want you to open it? <laughs> you okay. know? This would be, this is how I'd keep my money if I didn't want nobody to find it. <laughs> They're gonna think it's just cookies and sealed. Ugh. Okay, cookies. it's cookies. <laughs> it's also, but I didn't want to believe it. Notebook, what is this? Man, somebody's shooting off a lot. What right is here. that? Lysol, this is a pill container. Oh, okay. Tupperware, more Lysol. 
There is, what is in here? Ugh, this bag's got something in it, all right. Cheese it. I love cheesy poops. <laughs> Let's see, this right here, okay, we got a an on CD player. That's gotta be a solid five bucks. This right here, ugh, what is this? A power thing and medical kit. What is this, Arizona tea? Mm -hmm. A gallon of tea? And these are just some CDs. Well, what are they? The Essential, Michael Jackson, and then that one, Whitney, Whitney Houston. Houston. That's it, and then the rest of it is just bathroom. No. So I guess now we have one more box, then we gotta open the good boxes. Let's go to this box right here. The last box in the unit is the safe in the safe box, which hopefully has another safe in it. Let's see, right down the middle. And it looks like more freaking clothes. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Let's see, open up all the way. Well, this is clothes, ain't it? Anything hidden? No, no, no. What's this? Well, if you uh, don't find anything, what's this jacket? Nothing in there, it's just clothes. Probably gonna donate unless this is something really cool. Uh, where's the brand at right here? Brand is Jan Paulson. I've never heard of it. <laughs> it's still nice, it's thick, so hey, hopefully it'll keep somebody warm. Let's go to the safe box and then we'll go to the actual safe because this feels really light, but those cash boxes are much lighter. So that could be wrapped up in here. We'll see. We know the safe is obviously a safe. Oh, come on, really? Really? Well, this looks like it's gonna be all clothing, literally. But this is probably the exact box for this oh, right here. Century State, yeah, that's literally it. This is the one. Yeah. But it doesn't have a key with it. I hear something. We're gonna find out what that something is right now. Come on, Steve. How many hits do you think it'll take? Eight. Eight? One. Let me move my keys out the way, put the <laughs> knife away before I end up breaking the keys. One. Two. Oh. Three. Three times a time. <sighs> You know what? This person's insane. This person's literally insane. They paid two thousand dollars. You could have bought everything in this unit again, five times new, for that money. I can't explain their logic, but at least we know. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Next time, it's got to be better than that.